Beating time is similar to the fall and raise of the hand, showing the duration for each note. For example, the whole note lasts in general one up and down movement of the hand. So one up and down movement for the whole note, exactly as we've just seen from the old three dances. And as many authors before and after him would do, think for instance Quantz, Mersenne also sets the ordinary time or the normal tempo equal to the heartbeat. It seems as though the measure has taken its time and its regulation from the beating of the heart or the pulse or the arteries, for the lowering of the hand correspond to the systole or the compression and lowering of the heart and the lifting to the diastole or the dilatation and elevation. So, Merzen connects the heartbeat, the pulse here, to the second and uses this to set the standard reference for the slow pulse or what we would call tempo ordinario, ordinary time. A very slow pulse as one that beats only once in a second, meaning 3600 times in an hour. Firstly, the semibravis or whole note is defined by one schlag or beat. Each schlag or beat consists out of two movements, the up and down of the hand. Secondly, the schlag is set equal to the heartbeat, the pulse, also the heartbeat, it is a twofold movement, systole, diastole. Thirdly, one heartbeat or one semibravis lasts one second. Let's introduce the element of confusion now, the pendulum. We just learned that ordinary time is equal to whole note one second. It is this example Mazen connects to the second pendulum here. And because the rope of a three and a half foot long pendulum marks the seconds, one can use it to beat the time or mark the parts of the binary time. In other words, a one meter, three and a half foot long pendulum indeed marks the seconds. One second for each pendulum's left stroke, one second each time the pendulum marks the right side. The up-down movement of the hand is converted into a left-right movement of the pendulum. The 